Hello, everyone. I trust that you can uh, see and hear me okay. All right. Thank you for joining us here today. Welcome to our session dedicated to achieving success in e-commerce with digital asset and product information management. Now, 2020 has accelerated digital transformations globally, and I'm sure your organization has felt it too. A decade of digital transformations compressed into what seems like nine months. Now, especially in 2020, digital assets have become a priority as commerce shifts rapidly from bricks to clicks. And in this session, you'll learn the best process for managing the creative content, your digital assets and product information that fuel a successful e-commerce strategy. I'm Jake Athey, the VP of Marketing and Customer Experience at Wyden, and we're a digital asset management vendor and proud sponsor of Henry Stewart Events. We're headquartered in Madison, Wisconsin, and here in London. And I hope you've had a chance to connect with us at our virtual booth here today. And please do drop in after today's session to connect more. Uh, there is not a live Q&A as part of this Tech Lab session, but I will be available at our booth following our presentation here for if you have any questions, do please feel free to connect with me via email or LinkedIn as well. Now, when it comes to content creation, is your approach industrial or craft? Now let's dive into what that means. Now on the one hand, online, a product is information. It's a set of digital assets, it's content. And we invest in content to get a return in the form of e-commerce sales. And the more efficiently that we can make content, the bigger the return, right? So you need a creative assembly line to pump out that content. Now, on the other hand, there's a lot of bad, mass-produced, sugary content on the web. And we buy things in spite of how confusingly or inaccurately they're represented. And if the content sets misleading expectations, well, you can cue those one-star reviews. So you need a slow, craft, wholesome approach to quality content. Now, these sound like contradictory goals and stereotypically efficiency and quality clash. Newsflash, however, most stereotypes are wrong. Now, you're here to learn a process for creative asset management to support your e-commerce strategy. And if you're in the world of creating, reviewing, assembling, distributing, and analyzing digital assets, you probably feel that clash between industrialized and craft processes. And you're under pressure to launch products ASAP. You're also under pressure to amaze everyone with great content, but you're spending so much time on administrative tasks that there's just no way to really immerse and focus. Your photographers, your videographers, and copywriters feel more like professional emailers who dabble in creativity in their spare time. And then your marketing and e-commerce teams, well, they didn't sign up for what is this much data entry. So let's talk about how creative asset management should work instead. And full disclosure here, these processes do depend on the technologies that you may or may not have today, including a product information management or PIM system, combined or integrated with a digital asset management platform, aka DAM and PIM. This presentation will not weigh in on which vendor you should choose for these tools, but I'm sure you can imagine where I stand. And hypothetically, you could rig a DAM and PIM solution with free or cheap tools, but that probably won't make creative asset management any easier. And so let's talk about how you prepare to launch products and the related content assets today. Now, when brands prepare to launch a product, what usually happens? Well, the product development and engineering teams deliver the technical specs and the camera ready samples. And then marketers figure out how to define a market and, and sell the, the darn things. In e-commerce, 
Creative asset management is the process through which marketers manufacture raw product information into finished content and public product listings. And so how does that normally begin? Well, someone in engineering or product sends a spreadsheet and then the team members copy paste sections of that spreadsheet into their own spreadsheets and they create or commission content based on that information. Each product gets a shared folder with a hunk of spreadsheet and media files. And there's tons of manual work and a high risk of inaccuracies. And so if engineering says, oops, wrong spec, they send updated specs and good luck getting that herd of spreadsheets accurately represented. It leaves you thinking there's got to be a better way. And there is. How should it begin instead? Well, your engineering and product team send a spreadsheet and your PIM system ingests that spreadsheet and automatically creates an entry for each product. And then everyone begins the content production process based on that single source of truth. And if engineering updates the specs, marketing updates those specs in one place. And even better if your PIM system is integrated with your ERP or other upstream data systems of record, then those updates are automatic. And so how do you do craft content at industrial speed? Well, let's picture it together. But first, what is the absolute worst part about making content? You guessed it, email. Project requests flow in through email. Calls and brainstorming are scheduled in email. Complex questions are resolved through hours of email instead of five minutes of conversation. Proofs are delivered via email. Reviews and approvals happen in mass reply all email chains. And final proofs get delivered via email and get lost and get emailed again. Now, email distracts creators from doing their real job. Now, creative asset management should unburden email and reorganize the process in a workflow that makes more sense. And so let me show you a better approach. First, marketing leaders create and assign project briefs inside the DAM and PIM system. And the next, your creators visit the product entries for all the technical details and specs that are needed to produce accurate, high quality content. And then the creators submit their proofs via the DAM and PIM system for online review and approval of their creative content. And the workflow system automatically tags in predetermined reviewers as part of the workflow routing and review sequence. And they mark up the proof and leave their feedback in a central comment feed on or alongside the content itself. And the creator submits a new proof as part of that live project workflow based on the feedback. Rinse and repeat. Now, once each reviewer gives that final stamp of approval, the final asset stays in the organized digital asset library. You can add metadata and security details to make it searchable and accessible and attach it to a product entry ready to be syndicated. Now, after enough repetitions, every entry for your products in the DAM and PIM system is stacked with accurate product information and quality content ready for distribution. Now, this process is fast and repeatable like an industrial operation. It's also dedicated to quality. Now, the point of offloading email and administrative tasks is to give your creators more time for more focused, effective work. And so how much capacity does creative asset management need to handle? Well, we pulled some data from about 40 widened customers with high creative output. And on average, in the first half of 2020, our customers received two new creative project requests per week. And these generated 15 proofs per week. And there were three reviewers per proof on average. Two versions of each proof were made. And that full cycle from request to approval of that final content asset 
took 21 days. It's down to a science. So now you have your craft content at industrial speed. Let's get into going to market with your content and e-commerce strategy. Now, listing a product online looks easy, right? There's the name of that product, some feature bullets and some photos, and then more photos and copy below the fold for those that are more intrigued. And then Amazon handles the payment logistics. Easy. Well, what if you have a lineup of a thousand products? And what if those products each have 15 distinct attributes? And what if you want to launch those products on Amazon and 200 other global e-commerce sites? Now that's 300,000 data entries that could go wrong. And if you finally closed every email proofing chain and someone copy pasted all the approved content into the right shared folders, well, you still have to get that folder of stuff onto 200 e-commerce sites. Ouch. Now, they don't have the same rules and data standards. They don't take the same content in the same formats. And so you need a data entry platoon just to get that job done. Now, what if all your product entries, including the digital assets, are in a centralized DAM and PIM system instead? It exports your listing to an e-commerce syndication platform, and that platform automatically configures your product listings for each e-commerce channel and delivers them. And then you're live on 200 platforms with 1,000 products just like that. And if you want to expand Internationally, well, you can copy a product entry in the DAM and PIM system to be translated. You can translate and attach new culturally appropriate content and export that to the e-commerce syndication platform and away you go. And what about your dealers and distributors, your retailers who are potentially less high tech? Well, you can move their product listings into a curated portal and they can access the accurate product data and high quality content to use in their store, on their website, in catalogs, and really anywhere they need. And so we're on our way to omni-channel marketing. Now, preparing for e-commerce is really only part of the creative process. Those images and short form videos are often used in social media, both organic and paid mobile apps, email marketing, all of which could be run by different people and teams. Now, unless all of those people and teams are accessing content from the same central source, you're spending even more time on administrative work and managing those versions, which can be a real nightmare. And that's where an integrated approach and a solution for DAM and PIM really comes in handy. So last, let's look at how to analyze and adapt the right content for the job. So what do we initially know about your e-commerce content? So far, we know that your creator liked it, your reviewers approved it, and it appeared online. Good job. Now, did it drive sales or did it scare people away? Now, a good creative asset management process should weigh in on that acknowledging that attribution is a tricky game. And so the best option is to do A-B testing. And so to do that on your own websites, you can divide people who reach the product page into two randomly selected groups, A and B, which each see slightly different content. And if that content is embedded from a master file on your DAM solution, good news. It's collecting data from those interactions. Your digital asset analytics can provide insight about content usage and content ROI. You can monitor which of your assets are downloaded from your DAM system, shared, or published by your team, your distributors, your partners, and so forth. And this can help your e-commerce and ad buying teams understand if using more of one style of a shot is better versus another. 
And this in turn can help determine what types of photos and videos and additional marketing and sales collateral to create and supply. Now by integrating with marketing automation or your digital commerce software, you can glean even more meaningful insights about important metrics like conversion of view to add to cart if you're B2C or view to request information if you're B2B. Now the bottom line, if you want more time for innovative approaches and mediums, a DAM system can help you gain insight into what content your audiences crave more of. So choose your struggle. Today, most e-commerce marketing teams are set up to struggle with technology and processes. They're relying on digital spreadsheets, 20th century technology. They're patrolling for emails all day, 20th century technology. They're manually entering information and content for thousands of product listings, which feels like it should be 20th century technology. And so they're not struggling creatively. They're struggling against the administrative nightmares that starve them of their creative struggles. Now the e-commerce marketing team of the future trades technology and process problems for the challenges that creative people actually enjoy. And so put your photos and videos and copy through the ringer and work through more and better proofs and be willing to experiment more knowing that your team can review and approve or reject content faster than ever and spend more time analyzing the impacts of your content and strategizing how to do it better. And that future is here. Do craft content at industrial speeds. Now I look forward to fielding any of your questions via email at marketing at widen.com or contact us at widen.com to learn more. Again, do please drop into our virtual booth to learn more about Widen's dam and PIM capabilities and connect with me there. We thank you for joining us here today. Be well.